everyone and welcome back to Guitar by Emily. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas gift ideas for guitarists. So this is going to be great if you're looking for gifts for someone else, a friend, or a significant other, or if you are a guitarist yourself and you just don't really know what to ask for, it might give you some great ideas. So today in this video I've included items that are from like $5 all the way up to like $1,500, so any price point is going to have great gift options today. I'm going to be mostly shopping on Guitar Center um, and Positive Grids website, but you can get most of these things on Sweetwater, Amazon, and like Guitar Center, like I said, and if you have a local guitar store, you might check there as well. So you can shop wherever you want to, I'm just going to be looking on Guitar Center today. Another thing I'd like to mention is a lot of the things that I'm going to be bringing up are kind of subjective to the person. So you might want to find out a little bit about the person as a musician, what kind of brands they like, what musicians they like. A lot of these things you can't just pick out and buy for someone else without them really telling you what they like. So a few of these things, yeah, you can just go ahead and get it. It's pretty universal. But just definitely keep that in mind that it's subjective to each person um, on brands and things like that. Also, when talking about brands today, I am going to be mostly talking about items that I have or had had in the past or at least have tried out. So if I bring up things like strings or picks and I talk about a certain brand, I'm probably just going to talk about the brand that I like and that I use, but you can definitely try out different brands depending on whoever the person you're buying for likes. How I'm planning on doing this video is I have all the items, it's about 50 items, pulled up on my iPad on separate tabs. So I'm going to be putting a screen recording up here and I'm going to shop and show you guys right here what I'm doing and I'm going to show you all the prices and things like that. Also this isn't really like a deals video so if you want to see me do a video on Black Friday deals or holiday deals then leave me a comment down below and I'll try to get that out before next Friday. So I might bring up if something is on sale or something like that but this isn't specifically a holiday deals guide. It's more of just gift ideas and things to get musicians. Alright so if you're ready grab your coffee. I've got my Starbucks holiday coffee and let's get shopping. Alright guys, I have just started my screen recording on my iPad here, so uh, hopefully you are seeing that right up here. Let's go ahead and get started. I've kind of separated this out into different categories, so this first category we're going to talk about is kind of like um, accessories and just little novelty items, just things that everyone needs. So let's start out. We've got this variety pick set. This would be a great stocking stuffer or just a small gift. Uh, these are coming in at $8. Uh, these are Dunlop picks. I like Dunlop picks. So I chose this variety pack, but Fender makes them. All kinds of different people make these. So that is a awesome gift idea. I would definitely like to get this because trying out different kinds of picks is always really fun. So that is item number one. Uh, this is only $3. This is a really great gift idea. These are Fender strap blocks. Uh, it's a strap locking system. It comes with four of them for three dollars. Two of them are red and two of them are black. These are great if you don't want to put a strap locking system onto your guitar because sometimes you have to change the screws and kind of uh, alter the guitar to do that. These have worked great for me and I personally use them on all my guitars just to make sure nothing happens with the straps. Um, here is another set of picks. These are the Dunlop Max Grip Jazz 3 Carbon Fiber Guitar Picks. I really like these. Um, they're a little bit smaller and I do like the grip on them. Um, I like jazz picks sometimes and I like to have them around so that is an option um, for a good set of picks. But again, if you know what kind of picks they like then you can just grab whatever kind they prefer. Next up, this is something that is very personal, and I feel like you would have to know the person pretty well to pick this out for them, but it is guitar straps. So I'm just kind of scrolling through here. You can see there are a million options, um, and of course you don't have to pick any specific one, just whatever you think they would like. So I'm not going to click on any. There's just many brands and all kinds of great ones on Guitar Center, Sweetwater, Amazon, you know, everywhere. Next up is strings. This is something everyone is always needing because you're always going to have to change your strings. So first up we have these Ernie Ball Super Slinkies. These are coming in for $9 and this is a set of nines. Again, find out what string gauge they prefer. 
Um, I don't recommend really buying any of this stuff without asking. I know it's kind of ruins the fun of gifting if you have to ask them what they want, but it's probably best to find out first. And then um, my favorite strings are the Diderio um, NYXLs, and these are in, they're calling them super light, they're nines, so I guess um, that is what those are called there, the pink package. I love these strings, I've only broken like one, um, and that's out of however many times I've changed them, so I think they work great. Next up is instrument cables. These can be really fun. This one here I'm looking at is the Fender uh, Limited Edition Holiday. This is a 10 foot cable for $25, so it's very festive and cute, but of course there's a million different kinds of cables. You can buy expensive ones or cheaper ones, so it's a great gift option. Next up, I'm kind of moving into a section of guitar care and cleaning. So this one I've personally never used. This one's from Diodario. It's a guitar care and cleaning kit for $70, so that's a little bit more of a nicer, more expensive gift, I guess. So if you're wanting to spend a little bit more, that'll get you into that price range. Um, this looks like a really good kit. I just personally have never used it, so I'm not going to, I guess, recommend it based on use because I've never used it. But the products that I do use are the Music Nomad, here we go. This is a complete nine piece premium guitar care kit. This is coming in at $80, so it's about $10 more. Um, and it comes with pretty much everything you're gonna need. So I think this kit's probably a little bit better than the previous one for the $10 extra, because you're gonna get the brushes, the string fuel, the block for the neck, and the mat. So you can use all the stuff to do a full cleaning and setup um, for 80 bucks. So I think that's a great deal and I definitely recommend getting that. If you don't want to uh, get the whole set, then they have it split up, the different products. Um, here's another set of products from Music Nomad that I really like. This is the Fretboard Care Kit, coming in at $26. I really like this because it allows you to clean the frets without getting your fret polish and all that on the neck um, of the guitar because it has these metal um, separators so that you can only clean the frets really nice. I like this kit. I use it every time I change strings, so I definitely recommend that. And then this is just a smaller kit. Uh, I think these things are in the $80 set, but this is a $30 set of guitar polish, a fretboard oil, and just an overall guitar body cleaner, and it comes with some towels. So this is a really nice set if you don't want to spend the $80 for $30. Bucks. It gets you a pretty good setup. And next up, this is just the work mat and neck support. This is 40 or $35, I'm sorry. This one I don't really recommend buying without buying the set because if you look at the price of the last thing we looked at and this, you're really not getting a great deal if you buy all these things separately. So I really recommend that $80 set, even though it's 80 bucks, maybe you don't want to spend that much, but if you are going to get it, it's a little bit better just to get everything together. And last up from Music Nomad, we've got this uh, tool set. I just really like these. Um, nothing too special, just something you kind of got to have. So these are some nice uh, brushes to get around the frets and the fretboard. Moving on to just kind of a household item, I guess. We've got string swing. So this, there's a lot of different variations and of course it's personal to whoever you would be purchasing it for. This one holds three guitars. It's a wall rack. It mounts on the wall. You can get it in different colors so it matches whatever room you're going to put it in. This is coming in at $75, which I think is a really great deal. I've had zero issues with these things. They've never fallen. Nothing's ever happened to my guitars when they're on there. So I definitely recommend this. I think it's a really fun gift and I think anyone would be really happy to receive it. Next up, just more of, I guess, a novelty item, are these Axe Heaven uh, guitar replicas. I have a few of them in my room, and I love them. So this is about $35, which to me seems just a little bit pricey for what it is, but it is a really fun gift, and I think that if you could find out what um, the person you're buying for's favorite guitarist is and just pick up one of these, I think they're really gonna love it. Uh, the one I'm looking at here is the Steve Vai Gem, but they make them for almost every um, mainstream guitar artists, so these are really fun. Next up is going to be more like books and tablature. 
So this is just a manuscript paper pad. This is only $3, but it is something that is great to have around if um, you're gonna be writing guitar music or you just wanna get your ideas written actually on paper. I prefer to write down um, when I come up with melodies, I like to write them down as well as record them. So this is something uh, really nice that I think any player would enjoy. Next up we have just regular music books. I personally enjoy learning from books rather than on YouTube videos and things like that. So um, here is probably my favorite music theory book. This is the Vidiology Steve Vai Basic Music Theory for Guitar Players. Um, I wouldn't say it's like basic basic. I think it goes a little bit more in depth, but I think a beginner could start out reading this and be okay understanding it. So I would really recommend this book for anyone wanting to get into music theory. It is 30 bucks, so I think that's a good deal for the amount of information you're getting in it. Um, another book that I really like is this C Vi tab book. This is not really a learning book, it's more of just the tabs for his most popular songs. This book is coming in at $40. Um, sounds like a bit, but it's a really nice book. I actually have it right here. It's a thick, nice book. So, I mean, for 40 bucks, you get a lot of his songs on it. If you want to see the songs, you can pause there. They are. It's a really good book, and I really, really recommend that one. And, of course, um, I'm showing you Steve Vai books because he's my favorite. But um, you can always just look up um, their favorite artists, see if they've ever come out with any books or just any other books in their type of genre in general. I'm sure everywhere has a ton of options, so you don't have to get these Steve Vai ones. Um, and then the last book I wanted to show you was this Steve Vai's Guitar Workout. This is really great. Um, it's coming in at $17, which is pretty cheap. So it's just great for um, exercises and getting better at certain techniques. So I really like to have this one around and I just go back to it sometimes when I need something to practice. Next up, um, I just chose one just because I wanted to show you guys something. But it, next up is just like band merch or t-shirts or guitar brands, any kind of music related apparel I think is a great gift idea. So if you just find out whatever their favorite either band or guitar brand or any kind of music related uh, company and find some apparel like a t-shirt or hat or something, I think they would enjoy that. I found this EVH shirt. I have this and I really like it. So I think that's always a great gift idea. This one's coming in at $30, but you can find t-shirts and clothes everywhere and they're all going to be different price. So just check Amazon Guitar Center. Um, 80stees.com is great for like rock band merch. And then there's a website actually called, I think it's called Rock bandmerch.com and it's got a lot of the good 80s bands and things like that on there so I really like that. This is actually a refrigerator. It's a Marshall fridge. Now this is a bit pricier. This is $400. It might go on sale of course um, for the holidays but I actually have this in my studio and I absolutely love it. It's a small fridge but it does hold quite a bit and it works really well and I just think it's so fun to have in my studio so if you're looking to spend a bit more on a gift, then this would be a really great idea, especially if someone is moving into a new house or uh, setting up a studio. It's something really fun that you could get them. Now I'm gonna be moving on to uh, amplifiers and things like this. Um, this is going to be a very large gift and I wanted to just include things in this video that would kind of cover every price range. So I know some people aren't gonna to want to spend this much, but this is the EVH 5153 Iconic Series 40 watt 1x12 combo amp in ivory. I've played this thing, I do not personally own it but I have played it at my Guitar Center, and this thing is a beast. It is amazing. So if you're looking for a good combo amp, this is really amazing. It's $900, which is actually really great when you think about the alternative to buying a head and a cabinet separately. You're probably gonna spend a little less on this, so I really recommend this. I think it's great, and I love the ivory color, but it also comes in black, I do believe. Yeah, there's the black version but I think the ivory is prettier. All right, next up we have a kind of alternative if you don't want to spend that much. This is going to be the Boss Katana 
uh, 50 watt 112 guitar combo amplifier. So this is a great alternative if you don't want to spend that much. I actually have a katana. It was my first like big amplifier, I guess. This one's coming in at 270 and I am almost positive these will be on sale when it gets a little closer to the holiday season. They kind of go on sale every year. So if you're looking for something like this, keep your eye out on these katanas because they're really nice. And I feel like they've made this in white as well, but I may be wrong on that. Next up are my favorite range of products. These are the Positive Grid amplifiers. Now let me tell you, I love Positive Grid. When I first got my Spark, I was kind of unsure about using an app to control all of this technical things that typically is done by pedals and real equipment, but it was the best decision I've ever made and it's in it's really improved my playing more than I think anything else could just because it is so versatile. It allows me to do everything I need to do without taking too much time or too much stress or buying more gear. So first up we're going to look at the 40 watt guitar combo amplifier. This one's in pearl. That's what I have. I think the pearl one is really pretty but you can also get it in black. Um, currently this is listed at $230 so $70 off on Guitar Center. And that is a killer deal, guys. I mean, $230 for an amp that does all this stuff, it is just the coolest ever. I, I love Spark. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Next up, we have the uh, Positive Grid Spark Go. This is a 5 watt battery powered combo amplifier. This one is $109. So compared to the big one, um, it's kind of interesting. But if you already have the big one, um, getting a little bit of something like this that you can travel with or take to a coffee shop or really anywhere. It's great. The battery lasts a long time. I'm not really sure how long. I'd have to look that up. But it is so nice. I love having this little thing around and it really is powerful for how small that it is. Um, I think I would recommend this Spark Mini, the 10 watt. Um, over the go, it is $189, so you're going to spend a little bit more on it, but I would recommend it over the go. The sound quality is so much better um, for not that much more money, and it really is still very small, um, so you're really not, you're not going to waste much space with this thing. It's still very small. And if you are going for a Spark, then something really cool that they offer, if this will load, is the Positive Grid custom spark grills. Now this is showing it with just the, you're buying the amp too, but I believe these grills are about 25, 30 bucks. So not bad and you can completely customize any of it. I bought one of these from my friend for his birthday and I did EVH stripes on it and he loved it. So this is something really fun. Um, you can do, again, it's very personal so you might want to know what someone would like before you go ahead and buy it for them but like I bought the EVH stripes for my friend I knew he loved Eddie Van Halen so it was kind of a no-brainer so that's a great one you can do you can put their name on it so many options it's completely customizable so definitely recommend that for anyone who has a spark next up this is kind of like recording equipment so if someone is into making videos or just recording their own music you're going to need an audio interface. So this is what I'm currently using. This is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 uh, audio interface Gen 4. This is coming in at $200. This thing is beautiful. It is so pretty sitting on the desk. It just looks sleek. The red, I love it. Um, the feature that I love about this the most is the auto gain that it has. So you can set the gain. It kind of sets the gain for you. Um, just by pressing that button and um, it's just very easy to use, very versatile and I have personally really loved using this. So currently this is what I would recommend for an audio interface but of course there are other brands out there that you can research on your own. This is just what I would recommend personally. If you're going to be re uh, recording, you're going to need a microphone most likely. So this is the Shure SM57 dynamic instrument microphone. This is the microphone that I use. I think it's a very common one. Um, it's $100. It's a solid microphone. Um, you might want to look into, I didn't pull it up, but a mic stand if you're going to be purchasing this for someone because you pretty much can't mic up a cab without one. So you might want to look into getting that, but you're also going to need a cable. So make sure if you are buying some of these gifts for people that you make sure you get the necessary equipment to actually use it. So grabbing a microphone cable with the microphone is important. So that's coming in at $36 just to add that to the mic. 
Now I want to talk about some effects pedals. I'm personally going to only be talking about pedals that I have and that I've used, but again, use your own discretion. Pick pedals that you know whoever you're buying for would like. There's so many different brands out there, and there's so many different kinds of pedals. So I'm just going to mention a few just as recommendations, but definitely don't stop your research at these few that I'm going to mention. Keep looking, and there's all kinds of pedals out there. So the first one that I really like is this Brat Distortion pedal. It's $90. Um, it's just a really great distortion. It's simple. Um, it has a great 80s tone, so nothing much to talk about there. This pedal I absolutely love. This is my favorite delay. I've tried multiple different delay pedals and I've not gotten results as good as this one. This is the Strymon uh, Dual Digital Delay. It is in pink. It's so beautiful. The only thing about this one is it is a bit pricier than a lot of other delays that you're going to see out there. So this one's coming in at $300, which is a bit pricier, but it would be a great gift. And this thing is really amazing. It truly is worth it, in my opinion. A lot of times I would just tell you it's okay to go for a cheaper option, but this one I really would say that it's worth spending a little more on. Okay, we've also got... Uh, this Ibanez Tube Screamer is just a classic. I mean, everyone has an Ibanez Tube Screamer on their pedal board, it seems like. This one is $120. There's a few different variations of this. Um, if you look around, there's vintage ones, a few different models. This is, I think, just the normal kind of basic one. But again, do your research. And I think the vintage ones are pretty cool too. So if you think whoever you're buying for would be interested in that, then that's an option. This, again, is kind of like the instrument cable with the microphone. You need to make sure you buy a power supply if you're going to buy pedals. And I really like these because they have multiple um, plugins on the same power. So you don't have to have like a million different power supplies plugged into an extension cord. This just allows you to kind of plug them all in at the same time. So here's an option for $32. And if whoever you're buying for has a lot of pedals already, maybe you want to look into getting them a pedal board. Again, this is something very personal and a little bit hard to buy for, but um, this is the one that I have. I've just personally not set up my pedal board yet. Uh, this is the Gator Green Aluminum Pedal Board XL, and it comes with a carry bag. So this one is $280. It is really big um, and very durable, it seems like. I've again like I said not used it yet but it seems very nice and I really like this one but there are many options out there smaller options and larger options depending on what you need here is definitely more of a splurge item this is something that probably is not on everyone's Christmas budget but it is something I'd like to mention because it is brand new this is the Fender Tone Master Pro multi effects guitar pedal in black. This thing is uh, $1,700. I don't expect it to go on sale this year because it is so new, but it could. Um, I guess you can just keep your eye out for this. I don't have it or anything like that, so I can't personally recommend it, but everything I've seen online about it is amazing, and everyone seems to really love it, so this would be an amazing present if this is something in your price range. Um, there are also a lot of multi-effects uh, pedal systems out there. Um, I had a head rush. I just ended up selling it after I got my Spark amp. But there are all kinds of different brands. Um, Line 6. All kinds of stuff that you can research yourself. Um, there's many uh, YouTube videos on Sweetwater's website and just personal accounts that do reviews. So definitely do your research before you go into buying something this expensive. But I thought I'd mention this one because it just came out. Now I'm going to mention the last little bit of gear, and this is actual guitars. So again, probably a little bit more of a big Christmas present, but um, if this is something you're interested in, I thought I'd give some more affordable recommendations for guitars. All of these are guitars that I have personally played. I don't own these, but I can vouch for them and say that they're pretty good for being entry-level guitars. First up is this Kramer Striker. HSS with maple fingerboard, electric guitar, ebony. Okay, this comes in three different colors. We've got that black, the red, and it comes in purple. This is $350, which is insane for a Kramer guitar. And I have personally played these, and I think they play 
really well. You have a little bit of trouble with it staying in tune because the Floyd Rose system is just not going to be as good as on like a thousand dollar guitar. But for being $350 and possibly being on sale during the holidays, that is a killer deal for such a good guitar. So I really like this one. I think it's a really good option. Sticking with the Kramers, we also have a Kramer Beretta for $230. I've also played these and these are amazing. Now I'm pretty sure these don't have a Floyd Rose on them. I'm just gonna check because I don't want to say anything wrong for you guys. It's got a regular fi fixed bridge on it, which if you don't want a Floyd Rose, that's a great option for you. This is coming in a purple color, black, white, and it looks like... Is that a blue color? Yeah, there's a candy blue color, which is actually really pretty. I think I would go with the purple or the candy blue. But again, it's just a really nice uh, entry level guitar if you don't want to spend too much on starting out, but it's still going to uh, be really playable and nice. One more Kramer. This is the Kramer Pacer. Um, this does have a Floyd Rose on it, and this comes in scarlet, blue metallic, and purple metallic. I think these have been out a little bit longer than the other ones. Maybe not. This is coming in at $380, so a little bit more. But this one is really incredible. It has two volume controls, a tone, a switch. This one is probably what I would recommend number one for an entry level guitar if someone wants to play more of that rock 80s style. I think it's wonderful. Definitely a great entry into using a Floyd Rose. You're not going to have too much trouble with this one because it, it's fairly stable but it's not going to be as good as like I said a more expensive guitar so keep that in mind when going into this but I think these definitely play more like a $500, $600 guitar rather than what they really are priced as. So I think that these are really the best entry level guitars you can find. If you're more of a Strat type of person, I think these Fender Player Stratocasters are amazing options. These always go on sale around the holidays. Like currently this is $200 off. So um, coming in at $600, a little more than the ones we just looked at, the Kramers. but. It is a fender and um, from what I have uh, experienced myself these are very nice options and um, depending on what uh, models you're looking at they come in all kinds of different colors so definitely a good option if you're looking for a Strat style guitar with a fixed bridge. The last item I would like to show you today is just an Ibanez Jim Jr. I think these are great guitars for someone starting out that really loves Steve Vai. Um, these are $500. I'm looking at the pink one here, but I do believe they come in white and black and possibly yellow. I'm not quite sure about that. But um, these are awesome just because they look just like the normal regular premium gems, um, but they do come in some of those fun colors. Um, the Floyd Rose is mid on this one. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, and I'd say the fret work on these is a little bit of an issue sometimes, but nothing really a good setup can't hurt um, or help, uh, in other words. So definitely recommend if you're getting a cheaper guitar that you spend the $50 just to get it set up properly um, either at a shop or if you trust someone that works at your guitar center or music store. Um, just find someone who knows what they're doing and get it set up and it's really going to play a lot better. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and you got a lot of fun Christmas ideas from this video. I'm going to link everything down below so if you guys want to directly go and buy any of this stuff, it's going to be in the description. Again, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed, you give this video a like, you jump over to my Instagram, give me a follow there. Lots more Christmas and holiday content coming soon, so I hope you turn those notifications on so you don't miss any of it. See you guys in the next one. Bye!